Hey guys, welcome back to Tracknatic. For this video, I'm going to be uh, unboxing some parts that will be going into a computer upgrade I'm doing to my main, well, my only system. A couple uh, warnings before that. Oh, by the way, the video should be up tomorrow. Uh, a couple warnings before that. One, as most of you will watch know, I have a cat. I can't exactly keep her quiet, so chances are you're probably going to hear her at some point in the video. Uh, another, because I, I can't find a good angle to get both me and the table in the shot, I'm probably going to be reaching across the camera a lot to pick it up, or not to pick it up, but to move it. And um, so, yeah, my arm's just going to be going across so I can adjust it. <clears throat> and another, don't mind the uh, pink <laughs> band on my arm. I just got donate, done donating plasma a couple hours ago, so I can't exactly take that off. So, <clears throat> without fin any further ado, let's start opening some stuff up. I'm going to start with this, uh, uh, I guess I should adjust the camera. Say Western Digital Blue Solid State Drive. It's 500 gigs. And it's a SATA drive and 3D NAND. So there's probably not much here to look at, but eh, that. let's see. And this and the next one are the only ones that are actually out of their shipping boxes, simply because I've had them for a little while while waiting to be able to afford the rest of the stuff. And as you can tell, I like to be nice with my knife, so. Very clean cut. And of course, it's just a SATA solid state drive, nothing much to look at. So, let's see here. Attention, observe precautions and things. That's like your static device. Okay, well, that's nice. So, you know, that's just basically what it looks like. It's a 2.5 inch drive, it connects the uh, SATA, and then there's the power right there. So let's put that back in the box. You know, not much to look at, it's just a, a drive. <clears throat> okay, so the next thing is going to be this RAM right here. Let's see if I can get the angle to show it a little better. It's from G-Skill. It is R Trident Z RGB RAM. So it's DDR4, so it'll work with whoops, the newer, you know, I think it's like it's with Ryzen, it's, uh, I want to say, Skylight, KV Lake, and Coffee Lake, plus um, <clears throat> basically any DDR4 system. It's 2400 speed, so a little bit of an overclock, but I don't need to actually apply any settings. You can kind of see the stick right there. Oh, by the way, the Band-Aids also, because I was donating. Um, so... It lights up in different colors, so let's take it out too and see what, see what we've got. The reason I need this is because whenever I upgrade the computer, I'm going with Coffee Lake, and Coffee Lake uses DDR4. My current uh, system has DDR3. Okay. Uh, now I know why people like unboxing. They're annoying. Okay, so, let's see, can't show it off fully, but here we have the sticks, little G-Skill badge you can see right there. So let's turn this over, gently, actually let's open it from this side. Gently pull that out, I'm only going to take one out to show, but they're both the same. So there's one side, and it says, like I said, it says uh, Trident Z. I'm going to actually adjust the focus on the camera real quick. Webcam options. Auto focus. There we go. That should have honestly look better from this point. So let's try this again. Oh yeah, that looks better. I, I've got a monitor behind the camera so I can see what I'm doing. But the this is like, I think it's, it's really cool to the touch. So it's, I think it's an aluminum heat spreader. This part right here uh, lights up different colors. It's made for Asus uh, Aura, but I'm going to be using it with uh, Mystic or RGB Fusion with Gigabyte. So there's the other side that doesn't have the sticker. And of course the thing about RAM is like this flat piece inside it, that's the actual RAM. All the rest of it is a heat spreader. Helps to keep it cool. Which most people, it's not something you think that the RAM needs to stay cool. And of course, just well, G Skill badge. I've already got a couple of them because I've gotten two different kits of G Skill RAM so far. I've got the kit that's in there right now. 
And I've also got the kit that used to be in there. Of course, both of those I think you all saw whenever I put the graphics card upgrade in there. I don't remember. Either way, I know it's, you've probably already seen the RAM if you look back. So that'll do with the ones that are already out of their own shipping box. So next up, let's move with this. And I am... So we got a package from Newegg here. Let's get this cut open. And yes, I know you're not supposed to cut towards you with a knife, but for sake of the video, I feel it flows better. Okay. I think I already know what's in this one. Bubble wrap. Throw it out on the side. Coupons, coupons, coupons. There's the packing list. Let's see here. Yep, that is what I think it is. Uh, that on the floor. So this is actually in the rather snug. These are cable mod uh, cable sleeve or sleeve cables. They replace the one. They you can either get extensions or complete replacements for your current cables. So um, I've got mod mesh in the carbon color. It works with the power supply I have. It'll completely replace the cables because I don't like the way the heat wrap is on in the end of them. So let's very carefully cut into these. I like being gentle. Let's see here. I don't think cable extensions usually care what brand Ow. they're um, extending, but the complete replacements do. So you want to make sure you're replacing your cables with ones that work. Actually, this is nice. It just slides out. Let's turn that towards the camera. So that's the way. Gee, kind of hefty. So how do I open this? Oh. Nice packaging. A quality assurance guarantee thing. And let's take a look at a couple of these cables. There's all I've seen are pictures. Really nice packaging. I can't even get it. There we go. So it's just tied. Okay. First thing I pull out, these are some cable combs. They help like keep the cable straight. And I know I'm a little whitewashed right now. Uh, let's just pull a little random one out of here. Oh, wait. It's like a... Uh... Four pin to Molex, which I won't be needing, but first one I pull out right. Actually, you know what? Let's see if I can find a really small one. I don't need to pull out something particularly big to show it off. Ah, this will work. This is a SATA power connector. Like, ooh, I like the feel of these things. I was debating between the mod mesh, which these are in the mod plex. So, I don't know how well that shows up, but they're like, see that focuses? Might have to adjust that manually. Got a little keyboard, or wireless keyboard next to me. Let's turn the autofocus off. Uh, there we go. I know I'm kind of shaking, but, whoops, too far from the focus. I think that's about as good I'm going to get it. You can kind of see black with gray accents. It's the color it was listed as carbon. I kind of liked it, so it was either that or black. Because I want, I feel like the carbon will accent my case rather nicely. And let's go ahead and set that back to autofocus. Put that back in here. Put it up until the time that I need it. See if I can get this back in here as nice as it went in. It came out. Surprisingly. Whoops. <laughs> I forgot to put a couple things in here. Put the combs and the Molex back in there. The Molex in this case looks like it could allow a fan to use Molex power instead of 
uh, a four pin fan header on the motherboard since not all motherboards have enough. Of course, I personally just rather use a splitter, even. But oh well. That's just me. So let's get this all closed up. These definitely look very nice. Right, come on, go the rest of the way down. There it goes. Uh, where do I want to set these? Put these back down here. I'm going to have to move the keyboard now. Okay, this package is bigger simply because there's more in it. Because literally everything I ordered came in three packages. This one, the, the cable mod cables came in their own, and the thing I'll show you after this package, because that one was actually ordered from somewhere else. So. Da -da 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 -da. As you can tell, I have not actually gotten into these yet, so I do not know what's going to be on the top. And this is the first thing I see, so let's pull it out. Move this to the side. Let's see what we have in here. I don't even know what to guess on this one. I'm trying to remember what I ordered, but I can't really recall anything that would be in this box, unless it's... Oh, I know what this is. This is another hard drive for me, because the current hard drive will continue being used to hold old stuff. Uh, let's see if I can get this out. So, so, can't really see it very well, but one terabyte Western Digital uh, Blue hard drive. So, nothing to show there, just a standard uh, 3.5 inch mechanical hard drive. Good for bulk storage. So let's put you back in your box and set you down with the cable mod. Okay, what should I pull out next? Uh, how about all the wrapping? Pull that out so I can actually see what's in here. Okay, next up, I also ordered a few more uh, Silverstone fan extensions just in case I need them. I don't That'll put me at a total of, I think, seven on hand, but I don't think I'll need them all. I'd just rather have them in case I do. So, I don't know if you can see those in the package. I'll go ahead and open one up. Of course, I didn't think on my last part, or unboxing, I had got some of these, so they might have already been seen. But I like the sleeving on these. Just kind of a braided sleeving, and I need to adjust the focus again. So yeah, it's just kind of a braided sleeving. I like the look of it. I don't really like the heat shrink at the end there, but it'll do. It's a four pin to four pin fan extension cable. It, it'll get the job done. Nothing fancy. Thought about ordering some from Cable Mod to match, but those are like another, granted these are cheap anyway. They're like another two dollars more and I didn't feel like paying that. Okay, what do we have here? Ah, new fan. Master Fan Pro 120 Air Balance. If you saw my last unboxing, this is actually the same kind of fan that is, oh, I guess I should cut the seal, that is currently on the CPU cooler. So I'm actually going to supplement it with a second fan, so it has a push-pull. I don't expect it to really make that much of a good difference, but uh, it, it might. Okay, did I get that open? I don't think I did, because that's not wanting to go all the way. There it goes. Let's try this again. Oh. Okay, you can kind of see it in there, but if you want to pause it to read, I don't know if I'll be able to get the words in focus at any point. Yeah, that might not focus right. You got that. Just, you know, info about the... Oh, right, left is... But, you know, you got info about it. And then, you know, the back that says, like, the different profiles, the specifications, all that. You know, the boring stuff. And go ahead and get that off the table. Let's see here. You now they want to keep it in there nicely, but this one is packaging is ridiculous. There it goes. Oh, I think I've filled some of the inner plastic. Oh, I've bent some of the inner plastic. That, that's interesting. 
but it's just a fan. Nothing really much to look at. You got the rubber there to kind of with the vibration, but the CPU cooler came with a replacement set that will work with the cooler better, so I'm going to install that instead. Let's see if I can get this back in here since I've bent it. Come on. Work with me, please. I think I got it. Okay, so that's the fan. And some fur talking fans. I don't need that. Got some plastic cat. And no, don't thank me bad. I'm not really <laughs> giving it to her. She's just laying down next to me. That's where I'm throwing everything. At least she's being quiet, though. That's kind of rare whenever I try and do something like this. Okay, come on. Very gently. I have two sets of these, so I'm only going to show one. So, just to prove I'm not lying. There's a second. <laughs> these are Corsair ML120 fans. For those of you that watched the last unboxing, I have two uh, 140s up front. These will go at the top. Two or three of them will go at the top, one of them will go at the bottom. So I'm trying to just make sure I can have a good amount of airflow while keeping the fans low, so more fans will allow that. Oh, are these going to be fun to get back in? These are going to be fun to get back in, aren't they? What am I caught on? It's like not wanting to come out. I'm catching on something. Seriously, what am I catching on? Oh, whatever. I'll just pull this one out so we can look at it. Yeah, it's just a fan. And you got the cable right here. <laughs> and of course, I've got four of these. So that'll be more than sufficient for what I need. Okay, what am I trying to do with this? That go there? I want to say that goes there. I don't think that goes there. You know what? I'm... Uh, what did this go in there? You know what? These aren't even going all back down to how they were. That one was... A lot lower earlier. Wait, there it went. So, I think it went. Maybe? Yes? No? There we go. Okay, so I think I want to do that. Close it up like. No, okay, I'll slide that back in there real quick. I did not even notice anything came out that I didn't take out. Okay. Okay, so that's it for the fans. Next up, we have. Actually, no, I've got one more thing. Let's go ahead. A. 140 meter, millimeter rather, Fantex fan. This is going to go on the back. So, of course, all these fans are PWM, which get the higher speed control. Pretty good size fan. Got an included uh, extension. Actually, and a, looks like a 4 pin to 4 pin. What's the point of that? Also, 4 pin to 3 pin. Um, okay, I don't know why I'd have a 4-pin to 4-pin, unless, no, the extension's 4-pin, odd. Yeah. Looks like we got some, uh, like, noise-canceling inserts that you put the, I don't know if they'll show up, but that you put in place of the screws, and it helps, like, reduce the amount of noise the fan makes. I never, the, I think it's a Cougar fan I have on there right now. I've tried using those, but I haven't had much luck actually putting them on. So maybe this will be different, because these actually look a little better. So, looking in the box, I do believe that is everything for this. 
for the fans at least. Next up, whoops, knock that over. We have an NVMe drive. It says a 200 and Samsung 960 Evo M.2 NVMe drive. It's 250 gigs. So, uh, so this will be where I keep my operating system and a few games. The other games will be kept on the other solid state, with basically the bulk being kept on that that hard drive you saw me pull out. So the thing about these is they use PCI lanes, so they're much faster. The other SSD uses the SATA bus, so it is actually limited by the speed of the bus. And, dang, I've seen these things on uh, tech channels, like Pulse Hardware, J2Sense, uh, Bitwit. I have never even realized how small they are. Like, if I can get this out. For reference, that's my finger. Um, my knife? I don't know. But it's like, it's freaking tiny. Like, I can barely, my thumb is thicker, is about as thick as this thing is. Dang. That is tiny. Did I put that on the right way? I think I did. Okay. Back in you go. Of course, I'm not going to rattle off specs on it. One, because I don't know them off the top of my head. Okay. So, now for the probably the second smallest box here. I have a new CPU, which is the whole point of this upgrade. It is a i7-8700K Coffee Lake processor. It is 6 cores and 12 threads, so it should last me a while, which means you probably won't see me upgrade the computer for a bit. So, let's get this uh, little guy out. Actually, is there a different spot I can open it? Yeah, let's cut it right here. Intel factory sealed. Well, it's not sealed anymore. Let's see here. It's got it's capable of overclocking, but I don't know if I will. What is the uh, speeds on this? Does it say? I think it's a uh, got an upper four gigahertz boost. I know that. So let's get this pulled out. No cooler, which is why this, this is so much smaller than the last one. Which got an Intel badge, which personally I think the badge is uh, clutter or make the case not quite as pretty, but that's just me. Let's see if I can... Then we've got the chip itself, which is, a, is actually just a little bit uh, wider than the the um, oh, what am I say? Uh, the M.2 drive. Go ahead and open it up. I'll just make sure to put it back in. But oh gee, this thing's heavier than it looks. So, there's the chip. Uh, 8.7 gigahertz base clock, which I think it turbos up to 4.7 because I recall, I think I recall it being like a 1 gigahertz boost. That's not even overclocked, so that's nice. Let's get this little guy put back in here. My boss is texting me saying I might want to come in early. Well, I'm in the middle of something, so they can wait. See, I think it goes in like this to show off. Nope, whoop, wrong way. Like this to show off the processor. Yep. Okay, the last thing from this box the Z370 Oris Gaming 5 from Gigabyte. Throw that box aside, but. So, this will be the motherboard that it all goes in, and let's open her up. beautiful. So, you can't see it for the anti-static bag, so first off, let's start by lifting it. Let's take a look at the accessories before we look at the motherboard itself, just because I want to put all the accessories back. Looks like we have a... What's they have? Yeah, it's an SLI bridge. I'm not going to take it out of there, but I don't, because I don't need it. Um... 
connector. Uh, I think this is for the front panel I.O. You know, like your power button and all that. Wi-Fi antenna. Because this is a Wi-Fi board. Not that I'm going to be using the Wi-Fi hardware. What do we have here? Um, I do not know what this is. Oh, I think this is an RGB uh, extension cable. And of course, SATA cables. Looks like I got two of them. No? Four, maybe. Rear I.O. shield. And whoop. Manual with uh, <laughs> the driver disc. I want to hold on to that. Multilingual installation guide. Let's put this back. And a couple of what surprised me, I did not realize they came with it whenever I initially ordered. Thermal probes. Well, you can stick these somewhere in your case and plug it into the motherboard and they'll tell you what the uh, temperatures on the motherboard are. Or temperatures wherever the probe is. Are. So let's get this back in here. Okay. Whoop. I'm not lining up. Oh, I bumped the camera. Sorry about that. Why am I not lining up? Probably got something sitting there. Yeah, I got the SLI bridge sitting there. Let's try this again. Okay, so now in this anti static bag, we'll take out the motherboard somehow. Oh, case badge. Okay. Close this, so I can. I'll just use it to set the board on. Uh, where's it sealed? Uh, be careful with it. It's got a little bit of weight to it. So here we have the board itself. I'm not going to be peeling off any plastic, so up to the next one for that. Okay, so right here you have the I.O. Let's see here. From the gold plated on this side, we've got audio and a toss link, then Ethernet and USB, then USB and a Type C, two more Type A's. DVI, or not DVI, a display port, HDMI, the antennas, more USB, which I believe are grounded on their own, and the PS slash 2 connector, which is for like older uh, mice and whatnot. So you, I believe right here, here, and here, and right here, all light up, along with some accents around the uh, PCI slots. So the motherboard, the CPU would go right there. Um, you've got all the connectors, surface mounted uh, debug LED. Were there, were there surface mounted uh, reset switches? I don't think so. Oh, that's going to be fun to plug in. So it looks like fan, fan, fan. Thermal? I don't know. Uh, don't know what that is. USB, I think that's another fan. So yeah, I should have plenty of whatever I want for it. And over here you got the SATA or the SATA ports. Right there. And uh here, here, and here are M.2 ports. I'll probably wind up using this one because I think I determined that that one's the most effective. CMOS battery. A uh, heat sink for the um, VRM, then uh, the chipset heat sink. So I'm actually looking forward to building on this. It'll be the best computer I've built so far, which, quite frankly, does not have is not saying much. Then you know, no armor on the bottom like some have, but just to look at, there's where the CPU socket is. It's you know. So let's get this put up and got one more thing to show y'all. 
in you go. And yes, anti-static bags can actually be reused, from what I understand. Uh, assuming you can actually get anything back into them. There we go. What am I catching on? Reseal that. Put it back in the box. Right there. Okay. That finishes with that. And now for the last thing, which I don't know if I should put this on the table or not. And that's why. This is from Thermal Take. It is a timber glass side panel for my case. So I want to replace that with a like acrylic one that it has, or that the plastic rather. That was just my knee popping. I don't know if that actually picked up on camera or on the mic or not. Let's see if this actually survived shipping. I put it in another box. I hope there's no tracking information on this because I didn't open this yet. Open that. I have almost literally nowhere to put this. Okay. Tempered glass upgrade kit is what it says. Let's see if I can figure out how to get into this. Down here. Boom. I feel like I'm opening a pizza box. It's just, I'm not going to take this all the way out just to protect it. But. And there you got the tempered glass. So that'll make for a nicer side panel in my opinion. I just hope that actually works because it's supposed to, or it's my case. So, I mean, there you have it. All of this will be used in a build that sh the video should be up by tomorrow morning. So keep your eye out for it. Let me get this closed. And it will also be a shorter video than the last build that I did that was like two or three hours. So, uh, like I said, keep your eye out for it. I'm going to try and cut it down into more of like a how to build. Hopefully it won't go any longer than an hour, but hopefully not even that. So, uh, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.